welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel what's up what's good what's going on today's video is going to be very quick it's an update on my big chop and my growth and my hair journey so far so back in august 2018 i decided to big chop um for the third and final time so i don't think i'll ever cut my hair again <laughs> decided to big chop for the third time it was because my hair was really damaged i had decided to straighten my hair and i over straightened <laughs> so after i straightened it one side um reverted back to my natural hair and the other side never did i washed my hair about 10 times after that, um, still pressed, <laughs> but unfortunately it never reverted back totally and it was just so damaged and I just couldn't stand it anymore. So I made the decision to cut it. I was bald. I'll insert the picture right here. Below, I went to a barber and have him, um, had him cut it for me. Yeah. After that incident, I really did not like my hair. The main reason for my third big chop was first to, you know, get healthy hair again, but also to love and appreciate my hair more as it is. So I decided to take care of my hair more um, this time around, find out what it likes, what it doesn't like, and products that actually worked for me so this third time around i really paid more attention to my hair i paid attention even when i was protective styling and i protected styled um ever since <laughs> my hair started growing and i could grip it so yeah we keep things that helped um with this growth during this past year and two months was First, I did the rice water for a while, and I feel like my hair could be a lot longer now than um, it is. I only had one trim throughout this year and two months, and usually I would trim at least once every three months or once every six months. So I, by that point, I should have been by two trims at least by now. But I only had one trim, and that was recently. Um... For my birthday so that was in august so yeah that's i think that's one of the things that slowed down my process because if you don't have healthy ends your hair is not gonna grow um as fast as it should and it's not gonna be healthy so you need you know i knew that i just didn't trim it um three key things that helped with my growth and my so a couple videos saying that you shouldn't do it that often. So I st stopped it to give myself some time to do some research on it, um, see how often I should use it. And I heard that in the long run, when you use it too often, it's, it might be um, bad for your hair. So I'm still, hmm, I haven't done any research since I found out. <laughs> but I am gonna get to it because I really did enjoy um, using it for my hair. So, if I could get back to that, even if it's once a week, I'll be it'll be good. The second thing that I've been using is this Nature's Bounty Hair Skin, Hair Skin and Nails um, with Biotin. Vitamins and I don't know, it's sweet and it's really tasty. I only do like I keep up with it. Every day I've been religiously taking this. Um, two a day. Yeah, you take two a day. So I've noticed some growth. I have no idea if after my trim, my hair just naturally boosts it up or this has been helping, but I am going to keep taking it because, you know, it really can't hurt. So if it is helping, the third thing that I've been doing is protective styling. So that, that has helped a lot. Um, like I said, I've been protective styling after my big chop ever since my hair grew long enough for me to grip it and be able to, you know, braid, cornrow, and everything. So I did braids, I did the wigs, I did the straight backs, the cornrows with extensions, I did crochet. So I did <laughs> everything this during this past year and um, two months. So yeah. After my incident with my silk press, 
I decided for my birthday to get it to get it professionally done. So I had a suppress in August of this year and everything went well. I um washed my hair after a week. I didn't keep it for that long. I washed my hair after a week and it reverted back normally. That's when I had my um trim. The lady she trimmed my ends and everything. So I also had that professionally done and as you know a way for me not to try to do it myself and mess it up again so yeah so one thing that I noticed about my hair um, low maintenance really helps prevent breakage so for in between protective styles I keep it out for about you know for a few days or just a week just to let it give it some time some space to breathe give it some you know space to be what it is um, because I feel like it's very important to do that in order because after protective styling for a while you know you are gonna lose hair it's natural so for me to prevent losing as much hair I just like to give it some time in between protective styles let it be itself let it breathe on it you know let it be just let it be so low maintenance and if I am leaving it out I am not touching it every day two final things I'm gonna say about my hair my hair is most definitely 4B 4C and I took the time to I mean I, it really doesn't matter what it is but I just wanted to make sure I always thought it was just 4C but I noticed recently that I have without any um, product in I have a lot of 4B areas, um, but mostly, I'm mostly 4C, um, yeah, that's just a fact about my hair, it really doesn't matter to me, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there, <laughs> for reference. And last but not least, I have finally, finally found a wash and go routine that I enjoy and that I really like, I'm going to insert a picture right here. To show you all what my last wash in the go looked like. Yeah, that wraps up my one year, two months, <laughs> big chop. Um, well, my one year growth post big chop. And so, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm enjoying the process, the journey. What can I say? I can't rush it. I finally learned to be patient with my hair. Can't rush it. Just gotta let it do its thing. T take care of it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.